Does site speed actually affect your Google rankings? Well, I recently decided to put this ranking factor to the test and the results might surprise you. I'm Brian Dean, the founder of Backlinko, the place where marketers turn for high rankings and more traffic. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the results of my SEO experiment. Keep watching. You've probably heard that page speed is an important Google ranking factor. There are a million blog posts out there that tell you how important page speed is for SEO. Plus, a few years ago, Google rolled out a page speed update that specifically downranked sites that loaded slowly on mobile devices. I mean, even a large scale analysis of 1 million Google search results that we did found a correlation between loading speed and first page rankings in Google. But I haven't seen an experiment that isolated page speed as a potential ranking factor, which is why I decided to run one. Here's what happened. A while back, I noticed that a lot of our pages, even those that rank number one for competitive keywords, had horrible page speed scores. For example, this page that ranks in the top three of Google for SEO checklist scores an 18 out of 100 in Google Page Speed Insights. Now, I was pretty sure that Google used loading speed as a ranking factor, but seeing all those slow pages that were ranking for competitive keywords made me wonder. Is page speed one of those minor factors that don't really make a big difference? Or is it something that will make or break your rankings? To find out, I wanted to improve the speed of a single page and then measure how that page's rankings and organic traffic changed over time. I ultimately decided to run the experiment on this page, a list post of SEO tips. Now this seemed like the perfect page to test because it was already ranking at the bottom of the first page for my target keyword, SEO tips. And if that page moved up to the top of the page, that would be a strong sign that whatever I did made a big difference. So before the experiment began, this page ranked number eight for SEO tips and was bringing in about 150 organic visitors per week. These numbers had been stable over the last few months. And when I ran the page on Google PageSpeed Insights, it had a score of 28 on desktop and 13 on mobile, which are absolutely horrible scores all around. That page's score on webpagetest.org wasn't any better. According to that test, my page took 40 seconds to load, 40 seconds. So those were my benchmark numbers. Next, it was time to actually improve the loading speed of that page. So Backlinko's CTO and I decided to dig in and figure out why this page was loading so slowly. On the surface, this page really shouldn't be slow in the first place. We use an optimized lightweight WordPress theme, compress all of our images, and we use a CDN. As it turned out, this page loaded slowly, mostly because it had lots and lots of high res images. In fact, that page's total file size was 25 megabytes. That's bigger than the sizes of Contra 3, Star Fox, Super Metroid, and Donkey Kong Country combined. Now, a study that we recently did that analyzed 5 million web pages found that large pages load a lot slower than small pages. No surprise there. And no matter what else you do to optimize it for speed, a big page is just gonna be slow. Period. So when it comes to page speed, there's no such thing as a free lunch. So the first thing we did was strip out all of those massive images. That helped, but it didn't really make enough of a difference. For this experiment to hold water, we needed to go extreme. In other words, to measure the effect of page speed on SEO, we needed to take a page that was running super slowly and make it load lightning fast. And to do that, our CTO Lloyd created a version of our page that was stripped down to the bare basics. Specifically, here are all the changes that Lloyd made to that page to speed things up. That's right, he even went as far as to remove the reply feature from comments because that slowed things down by a millisecond or two. And here's how the new, faster version of that page looked. Now, at this point, I should point something out. Even after all those massive changes to the site's code, the actual content was 100% the same. The title tag, H2 keywords, and all that stuff was exactly the same as the old post. The only real difference was that the page loaded much faster. In fact, our Google PageSpeed score went from 28 to 100 out of 100 on desktop. A huge difference. And according to web page test, the page now loaded in 1.68 seconds 
of 40 times improvement compared to the old post. So once the new page was live, we used the Google Search Console to index the page and waited. I waited two weeks to give Google enough time to get used to the newer, faster version of the page. And for them to measure any sort of user experience signals that might be different now that the page loads quickly. After two weeks, the ranking for that page for my target keyword was exactly the same. Number eight. Also, organic traffic to that page was largely unchanged. The slow page brought in 305 organic visitors in the two week period before the experiment. And the faster page brought in 311 visitors from Google for the two weeks that it was live. Essentially the same amount of traffic. What I found super interesting was that the bounce rate was actually 48.84% worse on the fast page. This might be because users get their answer quickly, then bounce. However, average session duration and page views were both higher on the faster page, which shows that overall, people tended to interact with my site longer when they landed on a faster page. Makes sense. In fact, improving page loading speed made so little difference for SEO that we decided to roll back to the old, slow version of the page. So what are the takeaway lessons here? Now it's hard to draw any sort of firm conclusions based on a single experiment on a single page. Plus my target keyword, SEO tips, is pretty competitive. So it could be that the SEO boost that we got from a faster page just wasn't enough to increase the rankings for that competitive term. There are lots of huge authority sites ranking above me for that keyword, so optimizing for just a single ranking factor might not be enough to shoot it to the top of the results. So yeah, things might have been different if we ran this experiment on a page that was ranking for a low competition keyword. That said, if page speed really was a super important ranking factor, I would have expected to see some movement, especially considering the dramatic change in page speed scores. So yeah, this data suggests that page speed might not be some sort of SEO magic bullet. And at least according to this one small experiment, improving a page's loading speed may not actually impact your Google rankings, at least when it comes to competitive keywords. So did you learn something new from this video? Then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Also, if you want exclusive SEO techniques that I only share with subscribers, head over to backlinko.com and hop on the newsletter. It's free. Now I want to turn it over to you. Have you seen page speed impact your Google rankings? If so, did it make a big difference or a little difference? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now. This is a shot of me waiting, so we can just wait a second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I think that's good. Even all, that's, okay, that's good for video number two.